Hello and welcome as we head into Sunday, the 22nd day of October 2017. This is almost becoming a marathon within these videos as uh, I've been putting a lot up lately. So I'm not going to cover Bitcoin too much in this video, just a quick a little update as it's had a quick move above this 18 average of highs but wasn't able to sustain a rally within, at, at, within its correctionary phase. Thus, fast move break on the 18 average of lows coming down towards here. And after that stage, multiple sideways consolidation just below the 18 average of lows. Now a pop to within such a lot of neutrality coming into play. But what I like to do within uh, markets is when a significant move happens and it retraces approximately halfway through. So here to here. And then even sometime amongst this candle here when it got up to 60.40. You'd be saying, okay, so now which level is it going to take out next? Now, ultimately, if one answer is greater than 65, 70% likely, you know what the play is. Meaning, if you know it's going to be higher, you'd go long, or at least you would find yourself to buy position to go long, maybe a little cheaper. And of course, if you think it would be the low side, this would be a good time to maybe put a short play in or sell your some of your position. Okay. But since this has happened, there has been continued neutrality. So usually when this happens, this being the case, you can uh, build stuff like a symmetrical triangle. It's getting close to the conclusion of such. So it's going to need to break it to one side or another. What I have noticed within trend line breaks in crypto trading is they seem to be a little more accurate than they would be within the traditional equity, COMEX and Forex markets would be thus less failed moves than normal. That doesn't mean they still can't come into play, but uh, just some things that I have noticed also as well. You have a situation where you uh, had this breakout to this high. Now, this is about halfway through. So now you ask yourself, what's the, uh, what's the most likely scenario when you got down to about 59? Was it a move down to about 56 and a half ish? Or was it a move to about 61 and a half ish? Obviously, if you thought for sure by far it was uh, to go to the upside, well, that makes it a beautiful buy situation. And it's done well within that point ever since. As it's playing out in the short term time frame, major resistance and support has been established. Doing such just brings you to uh, the next test because breaking resistance will test the new all-time highs. It's not that far of a move from that level. 6080 to this area here is also a level of resistance as well. Two levels of short-term support with this one and this one. And a breakdown below there would be a test of the lows from earlier in the day. And if you break these lows, you'd be talking about testing most likely in between here. Now let's talk about some altcoins and a frustrating trade to say the least, but you know what it happens and it's profitable as it was roughly right before this broke out. I read in the comments section that uh, XLM ready to pump and I looked at, I'm looking at this pattern. I mean, yeah, it's going to make a leg higher for sure. I was, at, I looked at it maybe for about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds with the, also a couple of their time frames, and I thought, yeah, it could definitely have a move. And then I figured it could probably make a move up to this level here. But let's be safe. Yeah, yeah let's be safe. I bought 537. Around here. I put a sell order at 640. Market. Uh, goes to 635 and starts to retrace lower. Situation like this, what happens for me if I barely miss a sell order like this? Then I either place a sell order below where it came from, which would have been like 634 or 633. I'll sell it immediately for where it is, or I will sell it higher. So I put a seller somewhere around here. And then market comes up starts to go back down and i get scared out and i sell right here of course if i didn't remove my 640 it would have hit right here 
And of course, if I didn't sell out, I'm probably going to hit right here because I like how this thing is playing out as it is anyway. So be it. Let's move on to Vertcoin, which I covered this morning in the two and a half a minute warning. I bought this about uh, 20 or so hours ago from recording this video or basically the start of Saturday, New York time. And there was this level of resistance tested a few times, making all of these higher lows. So I really liked how this pattern was uh, playing through and uh, update. Usually when I see like the top gainers on sites like Bittrex, I usually think, okay, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it, but is there any spot to get it cheaper? Maybe it's going to pull back. Like if I see something go way up and then I see it's something like that, I, I'm almost tempted to start thinking about buying. Because I realize even on a lot of these moves, whether it's good or not, it's going to have at least have a second. I can at least buy here, sell here kind of deal. But um, yeah, I was looking at the pattern and I thought, wow. Now, the reason why I was looking at it is I'm just looking at all the codes. And I was like just pushing, like looking at everything last night because I just want to start getting buy orders. I got a lot of Bitcoin right now. And I know I'm going to be uh, getting into altcoins and... It looks like becoming when becoming a bear is coming to an end. I think that's was a good time to start placing buy orders at some good levels. Not too, too aggressive, but enough to make it worth the while. And then again, when I see later on, it's time to go long on pretty much everything. I'm going to do such. But this one's got a good move so far. Four hour time frame, sorry about that little glitch there, but uh, the break here, it, it just, it's definitely doing what technical analysis is doing. Within this clear level in here, the congestion point in here with its successful retracement. So the signs were really coming into play there that it was ready to take off. If I shorten it out just a little bit further, and this is within the 30 here on the selected time frame. And from somewhere around here is where I bought. Around the 40 number was where I entered. And I see this movement in here. Everything is working in play. Everything is in order. Nothing to see here. You're pretty much serious to the point that it hasn't had any monstrous moves yet. Because when I say this thing's ready to go, well, it's ready to go, but... I mean, it's going, but it's not uh, by extreme levels. It's already broken this resistance line, and that's a positive that this thing might be ready for a significant push. And, and I'll define a significant push when it has a good spike well above the 18 average. So when you have situations like this and you have a good green candle breaking above it, well, you extend those green candles. Something like that might be in order very soon. And uh, I'm glad I got in a position before, of course, it got up to 48. And then when I made this video this morning, the price, I think, was around that same number as well. But uh, congratulations for those who are in this code. Best of luck as we move forward. And let's move on to Komodo, which is next. And uh, within its session on the uh, Friday, the big red candle down. Okay, this... It's basically playing out to me as if uh, it's ready to have a nice move lower. With that being said, there's an interesting short-term bullish pattern brewing. I'm going to show that as well. But it's short-term, it's small, and it's only brewing. But so is this. This is a brewing pattern that's been in play. Of course, the downtrend line. The resistance within the 18, I've talked so much about that. I love using the indicator because it makes it so easy for me to read. And when I see action like this, staying below this, staying in the same area of the lower end of this support level that was big throughout the months of July and August and into October, that, that's weak which indicates you're probably going to have a significant leg to probably a key area. I don't got much uh, backlog on here, but you can see an early indication that it's there. But if you're looking for a buy order, just look back at more data. 
I'm going to shorten it out now to a much shorter term time frame. And what we've seen yesterday, or for well, for me it was, it was like yesterday, was this move in here. And that was very profitable for me as I was able to flip a bunch uh, around at very good prices on the positive side. Since then, price action has developed into this range. So like I was stating, there's a bullish pattern forming. The 29 handle, which had a major pierce above in here. It fell back down to this low and even this low comes close to it here, pierces it above here, nails it perfectly here with a huge decline, comes up to it here again with a good decline, and now it's back there again. The more often you test a key level, the more likely it is that you take it out. What's also worth note is this uptrend line or just the fact that we have a few higher lows, just well, just one with the second one, hopefully a brewing for a bullish case that would be. Support, support. Now this high is a matching high, but if this doesn't go down much, this could just easily explode almost at any time. And it's at the first layer of resistance to break out, which is 29. Then you get another layer at 30. Uh, and a lot of times when I see stuff like this, it doesn't surprise me if it either continues going higher or you get a move to 29, then you break it like that. And when you're looking for where it's going, I oftentimes look to where it came from. It came from 32, which was massive support and then resisted back before it went lower. So those to me are the key levels. And when we look back again on the daily and with the price target at around 32, that would work out to around here. It could match up closer to the 18 average of highs, which is declining. I would be very concerned and cognizant of the fact within this weakness that you get a little bit of resistance there. And then if you pull down there, maybe you might get a large capitulation wash out. And I think a lot of these markets have a good possibility of such and a capitulation watch wash out is when you are in a bear market have already lost a decent amount as it is and then you have a major decline over a short period of time so you're talking about the daily periods having a large red candle or consecutive ones that will eventually bottom in time but really quickly bottom in time so a situation where say uh, you just and then if market goes bearish and then boom, it has a big capitulation down here. Uh, maybe it just might settle down a bit, then all of a sudden start a rally later on. That's the, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of markets have a possibility of doing such as we move into the next few days. Now that's a long shot thing to happen. So obviously I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen as well. But of course, until I see um, anything to help me sustain or tell me that it's time to be bullish on uh, altcoins, then all the mostly these rallies for almost every code is guilty until proven innocent, which is another way of stating when a rally occurs, it's guilty for what it's trying to attempt to do, and that's to stay an uptrend because it's probably going to get pushed down. So this rally was guilty until proven innocent. Yep, sure enough, because it got pushed down. Next on Litecoin, and we're looking at the 15-minute time frame. And since it's decline, we can see an inverted head and shoulders pattern, and it's at the neckline now, getting above here. 
This thing could uh, maybe test back at least to the 0.01 number. I'd still be very leery on any of these short-term rallies, but uh, over the next little while, this thing looks like it may be ready to go for another leg higher. Dash on the same time frame. In, uh, inverted cup and handle. Well, same thing within the neckline. This thing looks like it may be able to uh, well, sustain maybe some movement a little bit higher from this area if it's able to go through. Ethereum Classic, very similar sort of deal here with this major resistance level that is currently at. Now you see action around the 182 level. It could have room to uh, maybe at least test in towards the 188 mark. And I'm going to finish this off with the Ripple 15 minute time frame because it seems all the alts are ready for at least a short term push higher. Uh, as it's already uh, broken past this little area here, supporting. Uh, uh, this looks. Uh, pretty good uh, as well for another short-term push uh, maybe a move up to this previous support level as a possible target uh, thank you for tuning in everything you do is your own risk own reward and good luck with your trades take care